uh, there was ready there was uh, barbecuing techniques developed over many many years to, to take a, a very poor piece of meat and develop it and uh, make it a good piece of meat and cook it right and of course this is how barbecuing got started traditionally traditionally of what we eat today is, is originated in the old south we take a we take a piece of brisket which come off the the cow up in the front which is a relatively poor piece of meat you cook it right you put different flavors in and that's what we know today is as barbecue cooking good barbecue is not easy it takes uh, it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience to do that so uh, essentially that's what barbecuing is about now on our specific team here we have a chicken man we have a pork butt man by the way one interesting one interesting thing about a Boston butt or a pork butt and I, I think our pork butt man will tell you that it really doesn't come off the pig's butt it comes off the actual shoulder okay down here is the picnic up here is what's called the butt off of the pig the uh, the ham comes off the butt uh, our, our real man will tell you a little bit more about that in a little while so what I'm doing right now I'm just getting prepared for some briskets and for the Invitational Great, the Great American Barbecue Competition. There's 41 teams and I want to tell you there's really some fine cooks out here. So we're going to have to be on our A game. So this morning's all about prep and getting ready and meat inspections yes. already occurred. Meat inspections already occurred. Uh, I think Brian showed you up in front where they checked off on it. And when we get into uh, the World Brisket Championship, we're going to have some tags and I'll show you those. As a matter of fact, Chris is overworking. You can talk with him in a minute and uh, see what he wants I need, to see. I need some tree top apple juice. Okay. <laughs> Seed it up. The good stuff. Now, you're going to mix that with a little Tito's first, aren't you? No, not right now. Okay. <laughs> That'll be later after I get my brisket ready. Okay. Okay, Charlie, we're ready. we're ready for get up on top and uh, let's get ready for some of Doc's uh, uh, brisket rub. First of all, I want you to hit it with this. And you got a good song on today, Charlie? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shovel board. Oh, Charlie. Shovel board. Wow. <laughs> Shovel board. Oh, yeah. You're yeah, go this way. Come on. Oh, no, you're fine. Okay. Shuffleboard. Shuffle board. Shuffle board. Okay. Good morning. Doc's brisket rub, and then I want to tell a jury. Shuffle boy. Sound like a drill sergeant, don't he? Yeah, I, I heard that. Incoming. <laughs> Incoming. Would you do me a favor? Yes, sir. Look at my green cooler and give me my, uh, I want my uh, drink cup. Yes. Oh, there it is. No, in the sprayer, in the sprayer. The, the missing sprayer. I want a little bit more over here. That sprayer better be in there, fellas. Uh, Chris, I got another one. Hey, 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 Using a rub means exactly what it means. You don't you don't just sprinkle it on there like a backyard cook. You rub it. Give me some more, Charlie. Give me some more. Brisket, Doc's brisket rub. And what we'll use the treetop for it helps to liquefy. Okay? That way it kind of solidifies and works in there. Over here. Have you hit it with the tailor cherry yet? Yes, quite a bit. Huh? Some more? I did. I did. Yes, sir. Oh, we don't take the easy way out here, Charlie. <laughs> no slouching, Charlie. Gosh. Every I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got a taskmaster there. <laughs> Yum. If it's not open, open one. Go ahead and get one open. Yes, sir. Now, what is it now? 
we got some three apple out here, and also we got the spicy. No, I just want the we've been good. The regular old stuff is okay. You don't have one open. You want to finish up? Okay. Uh, I had some uh, three apple. It, <laughs> I, it's, it, it's good. Okay. Doc's brisket rib. Now the, the brisket rub, that's what you've been prepping on and working at home on your secret recipes oh, yeah. for a long time. That's got 22 different spices. In it. Awesome. Come on, Charlie, let's get it on over here. <laughs> Shuffleboard it from side to side, and that way I don't have hot spots. Get the salt on there and the pepper, and then let me hit it. Now, do you go for a more spicy flavor, or what are you, what are you looking for? Excuse me? What do you go for? A spicy kind of tang, or I mean, what are you kind of shooting for? What's your goal? Uh, well, you wanted to kick their taste buds, but what do you want to kick it with? Here's here's exactly how we do. Hey, Brian, come here. You don't have Sit. any more anywhere else. I should have two bottles of this. There's two over there. Okay, that's okay, what we're I gonna got. open one and use it. Knock it out. Knock it out. Do they sell tree top here in Kansas? You know what? I have a rep here in town. I bet you they do. I can get a hold of them, and bring it out if we need to, or I'll go uh, get it. That's good. Kingfish. I'm not gonna let any trade secrets yet. I better not say that. Brian, come here. I'm sorry. She asked, "What is the goal here?" Exactly. Excuse me. The golf tee. There, right there. I told him. Sharon, this is exactly what we shoot for. We're two boys from Texas. We like we like our barbecue. We call it kind of like a woman, hot and sweet. And that's exactly how it is. We want to hit them with a little bit of sweet and a little bit of hot. That's, and also you're going to hear the term harmonious blend. We strive very hard at, at creating a harmonious blend. That way you're not overwhelmed with one spice or the other because that that's not what we try to do. Okay? Okay. All righty. Charlie, get on that spot. Hold it. Give me some spice, baby. Hey, now listen, I know you're green, but I don't want that all over me. Shoot straight. Shoot straight. Shoot straight. Shoot straight down. And don't do that again. Okay, thank you. You got it, sir. Give me a little bit more brisket. Right? I'm really not a bad guy. I just like things a certain way. Now, as short of bark, very little spice. Come on, spray, bark. spray, spray. See if I had one of my Charlie. Charlie's a, a new guy. He's only been with us for a while. Ah. But uh, uh, if I had one of my regular guys up there, he'd be reading my mind right now. Yeah, he'd be well, all G ones have a big learning curve, so that's okay. Uh, why I use the treetop here on a dry rub is because any rub or anything else has to have a catalyst, such as heat or moisture or whatever. We convert it. That lets a, that starts activating those spices. And uh, so we just, we've always used tree top because it's a fine product, plus it's American made. It's the best apple juice you can use. So that's what we're doing here with this. Now we're going to put this right over here on this table, and in just a second we're going to shoot it up or inject it. Uh, yeah. you, you bet. You can get this over there. Okay. Uh, yes, ma'am. Come here. There you go. Okay, now what, sure. what is this? Just, just Sure, uh, not to take up your time. Yeah. This this young man right here, uh -huh. he cooks one heck of a brisket, I guarantee you. He knows what he's doing, so you're fixing to see some techniques. No, so they're not they're both briskets What's going on? He's a, Two different yeah. kinds? Yeah. Okay. No, we're gonna have a whole lot of different things. We're, we're in a lot of different competitions. So if you'll just watch okay. and learn. Okay. Chris, if there's something you don't want on video, just tell Sharon. I got nothing to hide. Okay. <laughs> but this this is funny. Ready? Uh oh. Hey, Wait a second. Sir. Peek out. We missed you guys last year. Yeah. I know it. Whoa. What's of course, I on? felt a lot better the next day, but <laughs> <laughs> I still got one of your cups at home. Uh, <laughs> are y'all here for an oil slick? 
And what is a gall oh slit? Did you have one uh, two years ago? No. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got a leak, folks. Here, we got to wake up to an oil slick. We haven't had any liquor yet. We're We got all the checks. So that's what you... I spent a little bit of time. I like that vodka. Now that's a new technique for a golf team. We have a little drink called the Texas Oil Slick. I think you will enjoy it. Welcome to our bar. What we're doing here is just trying to keep the moisture in the meat while it's cooking. Okay. Chris, how long have you been with the Wetsu team? Okay. Of course, being a family member, we cook anytime we get together. Is that what kind of started it? You guys get together and cook? I want to hear about this uh, crazy send-off party. Was it Bell Mead? <laughs> I didn't get to partake in that. I was still at work. So, oh, uh, we stopped. That's you, have to get you have to get Robbie to tell you about that. I'll tell you what, you need to get Doc to tell you about that. Really? Only, only Doc can <laughs> sure. do that one. 